Hey folks, this is Mark with OrientWatchUSA.com and this is FFE06. 001B. Now, this is part of Orient's diving collection, but uh, as you can tell, it does have a GMT function on it, which makes it quite unique in the, the diver section. In fact, we don't have too many dual time zones. Uh, we, we do have the CDH 0001 to 2, which is in the executive series, but this is one of the first few uh, GMTs that, uh, in fact, in my understanding, Orient has ever done. So. I just want to show you a couple more angles on the wrist before I go ahead and show you how the watch works on my hand. But uh, I really think that these wrist shots are really important. So let me go ahead and show you how to take off the watch. This is very, very simple. You'll notice that there's an Orient logo right here. Go ahead and use a safety. Raise it. And next to the logo, you see two buttons. Go ahead and press both and you'll see how it unfolds. Refold it until you hear a click and use a safety to secure the lock. Take a look at this beautiful, untapered, matted, matted, uh, matted finish bracelet. It is solid in design, as you can see from this, and it works very comfortably, as you can see when you can see the lugs hug the little, uh, my, my finger right there. So um, the case is a 200 meter case, folks, okay? Now, a diver watch, there's a few characteristics by a diver watch. It requires a few things. This is just lacking just a couple. So this is technically not a diver watch, but because of all the similarities, we decided to place it together. So here, take a look at the Orient logo as well as some of the product information stamped on the back of the case back. Now, the case back is screwed back by design. All right, so uh, what I want to do now is put it on a stand so that you can really see what the watch is going to look like uh, when you just take a look at the dial, unfortunately, I, my hands are not as steady as it needs to be to, to make this to work. Make this work. So first, just do me, just get nice and close like that. Perfect. So what we have here, as you can see, is the regular time, but we have an extra hour hand over here. Now, for those who don't understand what a GMT function is, it means that it carries two time zones. So one watch can let you know uh, the time in two different locations. Uh, in the world. So let's go ahead and see some other characteristics. You notice on the bezel, on the outer side, you'll see a nautical, um, a nautical gauge with north, east, south, and west. And in the inner side of the bezel, you'll see a 24-hour indicator, 1 through 24, the military time. Well, your Obviously the watch, the time on your watch is going to use these indices as the hour markers, but your GMT hand will use a 24 hour military style uh, inner bezel um, uh, indexes as its hourly hand, hourly hand. So let me go ahead and explain what that means. What that means is that when I go ahead and, um, let me go ahead and unscrew the crown. Let me change it, let me just change the time so that it is at around 12. Now, GMT is very, very, very simple. Let's say, for example, I'm in Los Angeles, and then I have someone in Chicago that I need to communicate on a moment's notice. Now, obviously, Chicago and Los Angeles is going to be quite easy. It's just two hours ahead. But it will show you at least how this works. Say it's noontime in Los Angeles, so it's going to be 1,400 hours in, in Chicago. Now, I'm taking a look at, uh, look at this watch from an angle. So, if it's slightly off the bezel, I apologize, but um, take a look right there. You'll see that the GMT hand is now located with 14. Once you set it once, you can just keep the bezel there and it'll keep the time, because check this out. As time progresses forward, take a look at the red hand. If it's 2 p.m., if it's 2 p.m. in Los Angeles, it should be 4 p.m. in, um, in, uh, in Chicago, correct? So what is, uh, uh, what is, what is, let's take a look at right there. So, if it should be 16, and you see right there, it's located with 16 because minus 12 on 16 is four. So indeed, the GMT does work. Okay, now I wanna show you how to pivot everything using the crown, even though I just did time right there. Uh, the, there's three, uh, there's two settings in the crown. The first setting, the inner setting, allows you to uh, adjust date. The outer setting, the second step, allows you to change time, like this. 
All right. Now this is a mechanical watch, folks. That's why they wrote uh, or automatic underneath the Orient sign underneath there. Uh, what that means is that it uses a mechanical movement. Now, before I used to try to explain as best as possible in the video, but I think visually it does a lot better because this is what a mechanical movement looks like. It doesn't use a battery, as you can see. It doesn't use this, uh, anything else other than a spring, right? And so the most important thing that I want you to show you is that we're using a mechanical uh, uh, a, me a mechanical uh, a mechanical movement. See this oscillating weight over here that I'm turning around? This moves naturally when the watch moves, and that winds a spring. The spring powers a timing device like this guy right over here. And then, because the timing device is working, you can read the time. All right, folks, I hope this was a uh, informative uh, uh, video for you. This is FFE 06001B. Hope to see you, uh, you wearing it soon.